Chattanooga's outdoors get a lot of positive attention. The climbing, the mountain biking, the iconic Ross's Landing. You cannot see a description of a great American city or great American parks without the Walnut Street Bridge and that great view from Coolidge Park looking over. And yet compared to peer cities, Chattanooga actually has less park space per capita. And we don't have enough high quality neighborhood parks. And just to put that into perspective, the Chattanooga airport has more land than Chattanooga has in park space. The new Parks and Outdoors plan adopted by City Council at the end of June outlines ways we can have a more expansive and higher quality park system. Here are some of the short-term projects outlined in the plan. First on the list is maintenance. That means fixing broken equipment or adding the water fountains that have been put off due to a lack of resources. 19 park upgrade projects including Carver Park and Orchard Knob, Tyner East Brainerd Park, and DuPont Park are planned. But the upgrades will require at least 10 more maintenance staff for the department. Next, the department plans to build new parks in neighborhoods with the least park space. Right now, 32% of Chattanoogans have a park within a short walk of their home, and the department wants to get that to 55% in the next 10 years. Interconnected greenways and waterways are a big part of the plan too. Over 10 years, the goal is to add 16 more miles of greenways and to put access points along the river and the South Chickamauga Creek to create a paddle route through Chattanooga. Last, the department wants to preserve 560 acres of vacant land to serve as wildlife habitats. Stringer's Ridge and the Riverview Bird Sanctuary are examples of currently preserved areas. In the long term, the plan calls for another 27 neighborhood parks and more than 100 miles of greenway trails. And the more we can bring outdoors into our city, the more time you look up and see a bird, the more times you slow down and see a flower. I'm telling you, the science is there. This isn't hippy-dippy. It makes you healthier, it makes you more connected to your community, it makes for a safer community. You can explore the plan at cha.city pop.